Hey guys, this is Amec. We are continuing on. Boom, bang. Boom, bang, boom, bang. What is this, part 17? I think? Something like that? So I just died versus Reaver. I didn't even realize Reaver was there. Um, and I also t talked a lot about programming and stuff. Various things. So I'll probably talk more on that. Try not to overdo it, because I'm sure nobody wants to hear it. Um, but yeah, I... I do plan to um, continue learning more of that uh, as time goes on. The problem I run into a lot with programming, because so basically I, everything I've learned in programming has been outside of school. Because um, I, I plan to get my well, <laughs> I plan to get uh, a degree in computer science, but I'm actually uh, semi working towards uh, my doctorate in computer science. Um, but we'll see on that. Uh, but, so anyways, all of my pro programming stuff has been just what I can learn from online and stuff, you know. Um, which is fun, you know, it's cool, but it's very hard for me. Um, because first off, I get distracted a lot, as you guys should probably know by now. Um, and so that's a problem, but then also, um, it, it's kind of hard to learn online. Like... So I, I said in the last part that I made a calculator, which I, I personally was really excited about, even if nobody else was. Um, and, uh, um, let's see, let me grab this, cool. Um, wow, I did two missions for the price of one, hold on. Uh, did I turn in, yeah, I must have turned in the other one. So we can go go New Haven and then we can go uh, to Earl's um but um ooh a chest but yeah so when I the problem I had with learning online is like everybody has a different oh my god hold on do you guys know what this is do you know what this is Cause I do and I love it. This is oh, I, uh, just give it. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of my face. Okay. This is an uh, Iridian weapon or alien weapon, as I always call it. What can I get rid of? Because yeah. Okay. So I need a sniper rifle. I like the pistols. Shotgun is good, but I really want this this sh Arian Arian weapon. Oh my glob. Must be level twenty eight. Dang man. I think I'm almost there, actually. Okay, let's do that. Could have just done that instead of dropping weapons, but you know, that would have made too much sense. Um, wow. Um, oh yeah, I'm almost there. Um, cool. That's freaking awesome. I love the alien weapons. They're so weird. I'll get back to what I was saying in a second, but um, they're they're super weird. Like, if you guys don't know this or not. So, basically, I think the premise with all of them is um, you never run out of ammo. Basically, when you run... Well, you you never... Ammo doesn't exist. It basically... Um, it's kind of like Mass Effect weapons, if you have played Mass Effect. Where it kind of just overheats, in a sense. And you just have to let it cool down, kind of. I don't know if that's the way they do this in this game, but that's kind of the same premise. Um, so, yeah. So, you don't need ammo. Um, but then, also, they're all quirky, if that makes sense. They're all weird. So each alien weapon has a really weird style to it. Um, oh, let me just do this. Um, and I believe, I've actually had this one before. I think this is actually one of the more common alien weapons. Um, but I believe it just shoots a giant orb of energy that moves relatively slow. But if it hits, it does a ton of damage. Um, but, but yeah, so that's exciting. I'm, I can't wait to play with that. Oh my god. How do I stop him from doing this every five seconds? Uh, sure. <coughs> coughing, coughing. Um, okay, let's turn this one in. Okay. But, so with the programming thing. When I've been learning 
by myself, everybody has a different um, approach to programming and different opinions on programming, which is cool, and that that's you know that makes the most sense, you know. But the problem is, when trying to learn, it it doesn't make it easy. Because for example, to start, I didn't know what programming language to start with. Like there's so many, and there's like there's some big name ones that everybody likes, like Python, C uh, C sharp, C. Um, let's see, Ruby on Rails, I think is one of them, um, freaking, there's a lot of others. But anyways, they, they all serve different purposes, and do, oh, Java, um, anyways, a lot of different things. Um, but, so, when I was, uh, like, first starting out, it was like, well, what do I, like, which one do I pick? You know, like, what's, what's the beginner one to do, you know? Because, and that just... Oh, that just never makes sense. Like, make it made any sense to me. Um, so I was like looking it up, and everybody would tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered him. I forgot. I ain't telling you, Jack Monkey Squat. Um. <laughs> oh man. Um. <laughs> uh, but anyways. <laughs> um, so, wow, that, I really, uh, derailed me, sorry, but, um, <laughs> so everybody had a different opinion on what the, um, like, best, uh, one to start with was, like, some people, oh, you gotta start with, uh, Python, you know, whatever, you gotta just jump right into Java. Oh, you just, you gotta do C-sharp. Oh, you gotta do... And it got really confusing and irritating, to be honest, because it, it just, I, it was making everything worse for me. Like, I was already, like, confused, stressed out about it, and then it just made it worse until, and I wish I knew what the video is called, because I would like to throw it out there, but I, I don't remember. Um, but I found a video of this guy talking about it, you know, because he was, like, breaking down, like, what actually sh you should start with. And the way he explained it actually was really helpful to me. Um, it actually was exactly what I, like, needed to hear. <laughs> um, and he basically, basically explained that it doesn't really matter. That you can start with any programming language, and, um, it, like, like I said, it doesn't really matter because... Each programming language is just a tool that somebody made at some point to serve a purpose. So basically, he said, the most important thing, before even worrying about what programming la language to work in, figure out a project. Come up with a project, and depending on what kind of project it is, will determine what the best uh, language to do it in is. So for instance, my game. So that wasn't the one I picked initially, that was a starting thing, but even for my game, C Sharp or Java would be really good for it, I'm sure. The, and some of the others could do it well too, but based on what I found, C Sharp and Java. Now, even between those two, I, Java's probably better. C Sharp's just uh, relatively easier. Um, anyways, um, so that was really helpful to hear that because, well, I... It gave me a direction, so I was able to pinpoint. Okay, C sharp. I could do, you know, uh, I can't remember what pro uh, what projects were on my mind when I started, but um, there's a couple things. Um, but yeah, that that fit most of the things like the game, and then a couple other things that I was doing. Um, it fit at the time, so I was like, oh, okay, wow, okay, cool. Um, so that's why I've been working on that, and it's been going pretty well. Um, but then, like, even beyond that. Like with the calculator, for instance, um, that was a very rewarding but also extremely stressful situation. Um, it was very good stress in the end, but basically, I found this guy who listed out the steps to making a calculator, um, like the program, the program for running a calculator, not like an actual physical hard uh, calculator, um, and. Uh, so I was following that, doing everything, you know, doing all these different things, and that was really cool. Until I got to the end uh, of the, like, 200 lines of code or whatever it was. 
um, it wouldn't work. It would crash. Everything would be perfect working until the very end. It would crash, and it would crash in a weird way that wouldn't allow me back in. Um, so basically, it would like create multiple errors, and then um, as far as I could tell, I couldn't actually like get back into the program. <laughs> oh, that thing's weird. Um, like it, it was just very odd, it, and I couldn't figure it out, and it was stressful because I just, you know, poured, uh oh, I just poured however much time into. What am I supposed to be doing here? Did I miss something? Oh, okay. Um, I think it was okay. Um, but <laughs> I just lost my train of thought again. Um. <laughs> but yeah, so it, it kept screwing up right at the end, so I would restart the whole program from scratch because um, I couldn't pinpoint the problem. Like when I would look through the, the errors and stuff, nothing would actually stand out as the problem. I couldn't figure out how to fix it. Um, so I kept redoing it, trying different things, trying different things, you know. And it was just, like, I was so irritated because I would get so close to finishing it and then it would collapse. It just wouldn't work anymore. And as far as I could tell, I was doing everything like perfect according to this guy's rules. Um, and all the stuff he said and all this crap. I found out he freaking messed up. He messed up. <laughs> it was even my fault. Now, I, I keep going back and forth and I wonder if he messed up on purpose um, to like force whoever's learning to like figure it out. I don't know. As far as I could tell, he didn't say anything about it, so I don't know. Maybe he just messed up. He was doing it in a hurry. I don't know. But the issue that caused 12 iterations of the same program and a lot of stress and a lot of uh, irritation um, was all due to a missing semicolon. He didn't put a semicolon, in, in, well, and then I didn't put a semicolon in, in, in a spot and it caused the whole thing to crash. And for some reason, it couldn't pinpoint the, the spot of the error, which is odd to me. Um, but, so after I did that, oh, of course, it worked perfectly. <laughs> um, but that, that, so that was very satisfying in the end, like all that hard work, you know, and then I succeeded. And then everybody thought I was really dumb because I, I, I made a calculator. <laughs> but, uh, so that was cool. Um, but yeah, I've kind of, I don't know, it was really just helpful going back to the video I watched of just hearing like, um, like how to pick the right, uh, like programming language. What you want? <laughs> so that was awesome. Oh yeah. So. Where's the main mission thing? This one. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, a couple more missions, and basically I'm gonna do a couple more until um, I hit uh, level 28, and then I'll go back to doing the main mission. So pretty much by the next part, I'll be doing the main mission again. Um, I just wanted to level up a bit so I'm not too outmatched. Um, yeah, so the programming stuff's been interesting. I did find, um, uh, a cool, like, what's it called? A cool site that's, it was teaching me, um, 2D game design, I believe. And I, I need to get back into that because I kind of fell off because, like I said, I've been doing this and stuff. But I think the site was called, uh, Udini. Um, and it was definitely worth looking into because basically and by the way it's weird to say like in a serious way but just want to make it clear not a sponsor no never gonna get sponsored people don't like me no um <laughs> but uh yeah so i that's what i use and it um it's actually genuinely really cool um uh because like basically it's not even just for programming i, I think they do a bunch of weird crap but um yeah, I I was looking over it, and even within the like the world of programming, they have so much stuff. 
Um, but I found one for 2D game design, and then um, the next one after that is 3D game design, I believe. But then they have all these advanced courses within it too. But in the 2D one, um, I, I think the last thing I was doing, if I remember right, I was making, um, I was actually making a choose your own adventure game, which was super cool sounding. So I have to get back into that. Um, but it's been fun, or it's it, it was fun. I haven't really done anything in a bit, but um, oh cool, somehow did a different mission. Ooh, what's this? Oh wow, man, I just keep finding stuff, doing stuff. Banana, banana, banana. Okay, let me find whatever mission this is. I wish it would. Okay, where am I at? Do I know? Do I know? I don't know. Don't, 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 um, I need to find an ammo station, em emu station. Um, so yeah, so that site's been really cool, and uh, it gets me really excited because I think they they claim that by the end of it, you can actually make a basic open world game, which sounds amazing. Um, sounds really cool, a lot of fun. Um. I'm just hoping, because like all that stuff's really neat, you know, and awesome. But I'm really just hoping that it gives me a, a like a basic understanding of how to just start something like that. Because like like I said, the game I want to make, it's really not complicated in the slightest. It's very just basic, really. Um, wait, okay. Oh, these are trivial now. I don't I don't care. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, these. Um, but, like, it's a very basic game, and honestly, since it's, um, based off of a game that already exists, like, I don't even completely have to, like, create something brand new, if that makes sense. Like, it's not like I'm trying to create a new j genre, uh, of a game. I'm not making something completely brand new to the world I'm I'm making what to me is an improvement on a game I really enjoyed so I'm not gonna be copying it in the sense but I'm, I'm gonna be uh, mimicking its uh, um, style I said there's a couple other games that it's like that's what they wanted to do just to like get into the market of it because um, but they missed to what to me the point like they put too much time into just all the stupid microtransactions. Like, actually, let me go into that a little bit. I have no problem with microtransactions, especially on mobile games. I, I think it's annoying in AAA titles. I think that's a that's really annoying, personally. I, I don't really care that it's there, as long as it doesn't give other players or anything in an unfair advantage. But, in mobile games, I don't really have a problem with it, because... A lot of times the games are free anyways, so that allows the creator to get some kind of, you know, profit out of it besides just ads or something. Anyways, my problem becomes when they they dive too much into that instead of actually making a game that's fun. So it's like they copied a lot of the like the setup that the other game had, but then like missed the point. They just dove too much into oh well you to progress you have to um, do this, you have to do that, and it required buying stuff, or things just costed ridiculous amounts of money that you, you couldn't really get to in a normal math game. And I didn't appreciate that, because Adventure Capitalist, I felt like, did it perfectly. I've, I've put a ton of real money into that game over the years, because, uh, well, just be, it's a game I care about, you know, but also because I didn't have to. Because basically, you don't need to. You can, and it's cool when you do. And you know, it gives you different, like varying boosts depending on what you get. You know, whatever. Um, but 
it's there and it's it's interesting um, without it being a necessity. Um, it's basically just per personal preference, and I I do like that. So I will have something closer to that in in my game whenever I make it, just because I like that option for people. Um, and like I said, it gives the creator of the game a potential like source of income um, from like to kind of back up the game, you know, uh, which is cool to me. Um, but but yeah, I I just feel like all the games that tried to uh, make similar games, they just missed the mark, um, big time. So I, I have an I whoa. <laughs> um, so I, I think my idea, at least for me, like I said, because ultimately that's all it is. I, I would be, I would treat it as a success, like a true success, over like a bigger success if I make one dollar on that game, because as of right now, that game is not for profit. Not really. Um, it's gonna have profitable, uh, what's it called, like, options? Where technically people could buy stuff, technically, you know, I might have advertisements on it, I don't know. Um, but I, I don't really expect any of that. I, I basically, I really just want to make myself a new game to play that I don't feel as uh, guilty playing. Because when I play that one, I could just say it's uh, QA testing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I just basically want to make a spiritual successor to that, to Adventure Capitalist, um, but more. Like, I want to try to succeed in hitting on all the things that made that game awesome to me, but then improve it in ways that I always thought they should have, basically. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. I, I really want to figure out how to make that happen. Um, I don't really, I know, th that's actually why I built the calculator, um, because... I wanted to learn in C Sharp how to deal with, um, like, kind of deal with numbers in various ways. Um, and I, I do realize with the calculator it is a little different, but the, the whole premise of the game is it's an incremental. Meaning, as time produces, you know, obviously you have those managers, you're gaining money over time, so it shows this, like, this, um, this ever growing. Uh oh this ever-growing number of how much you have, you know? So, you have to have a way of it doing that. And then, I don't I don't know how to make a game that runs in the background. Well, actually, technically, I always used to think it ran in the background even if you closed it, which is how it um, gives you money real-time. But actually, I realized later, it's basically a math equation. Um, where basically, uh, oh, where do I go? Um, oops, um, I hope I didn't just, okay, but, uh, but basically it looks at the time that you, um, last played it, and then it calculates the time from that point to where you are now, the time it is now, and then gives you the amount of money that it would have had, uh, or would have made in that time, depending on your managers, depending on your, whatever. So that, to me, makes a lot more sense, and it's a lot easier sounding than having something that runs in the background. But even that though, I, I don't I don't know how to make. So that's something I'm trying to learn somehow. Oops, I didn't actually mean to do that. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. I'm really good at this. Oh wasn't supposed to come out here. <laughs> Did he call me a meat puppet? Gross. It's the shallowest water I've ever seen. It's kind of weird, actually. I don't think this is where I need to be. <laughs> but I feel like there's secrets. So I'm going to keep going. If I have to backtrack, that sucks, but I kind of feel like I'm going to... Oh, this is probably going to kill me in a second. I feel like this would be the perfect place to have some secrety secrets. Um, but yeah, I, I it, they, when I think about that game, it gets me really excited because I really like the um, the concept of not only having my own game, because that is a really cool thing that I'd like to be able to say I've done is make my own game, even if it is just like something small like that. But I just think it'd be really fun. 
Um, so that's kind of where my mind's at on that. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just hoping that through that whole, uh, whatever it's called, the whole um, training thing I'm, I'm learning about in, Ud in Udini, uh, I'm hoping it teaches me something that I can attribute to that game, you know? Because right now all the games don't sound like, it, they're more like, like real games. <laughs> they're not like, uh, um, I don't know. My my game is basically two dimensional and you, you know whatever. But yeah, so that stuff's really cool. Wow, that sucks. Why is he running for me? It's not great. Oh man. Oops. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of dumb. You know? Just a little dumb. Um. <laughs> and actually, another thing I've considered for this channel at some point is I, I really think it would be fun, um, once I get a little better with programming, to, like, somehow record myself just programming. If anybody would ever be interested in that, like maybe showing the the like every time I'm writing code, like maybe just um, do like a time lapse of me writing the code. So, I don't know. I think that'd be fun, um, but I'm not to that level yet. So that's something I I need to get back into. Been away from it for too long, for good reason though. I haven't just been slacking. Been having a lot of fun with this channel. <laughs> oh yeah, we did some pretty good things so far in this episode. I feel pretty good about myself. If I could find a teleporter, that'd be great, though. Hope it didn't pass one and didn't notice or something. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not a teleporter. <laughs> it's gonna be a little mad at myself. Not gonna lie. Um, I'll have to look at my list, but I, I, I did have some more ideas for programming I want to deal with. Cause like, kind of my. My main goal isn't like game design. I I really like the concept of making this specific the crap. Oh, making this specific game, but in reality, um, my goal is AI. That's kind of my um, interest. Cause there's a lot of things I want to do with that. But that's it's a little uh further out for me currently. Hey, I got my eye. I'll just use what you turn, man. I don't want to gossip. But that ten is ain't quite on the up and up, you know <laughs> what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, turning this mission might actually level me, which will be the perfect setup for the next video. Come on in and take a look around. End to my power. Yeah, leveled. Cool. Let's level up, level, level. Okay, let's just do this one. Oh, did you mention that the bounty board? Oh, it's actually not. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh! Woohoo! I can use that weapon. Wait. Oh. Yeah, fire rate point four. Let me reload all of these weapons. 
Okay. Look at this bad boy. Yeah, see, bow. Bow. Re yeah, see, it's recharging. You can kind of see it in the bottom right. Ah, oh, I love it. It's so cool. So, I didn't know this. So, the rare... Oh, my God. Wait. It slows me down. You guys notice that? So I'm full sprint right now. See that? And then f full sprint. Wait. Maybe I'm just crazy. I can't tell now. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to call that a part. I believe that was, what, part 17 or something like that? Um, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next part. See ya.